well. Congratulations in reaching the final. Thank you. Thank you so much. And nice to meet you as well. When did you decide to become a soccer player? Oh. <laughs> uh, I decided to become a professional soccer player my senior year of college um, against my dad's better judgment. <laughs> Uh, and I started playing soccer when I was around seven, I think. What motivates you knowing you're playing the final? Oh, I don't think you need any more motivation than just the fact that you're playing in a World Cup qualifying final. I think um, I grew up a long time watching CONCACAF finals and always wanting to play in one in a World Cup in the Olympics. So just being here is motivation enough. So it's like you're doing to play in these finals. Yeah, I don't like to call them dreams, though, because I think it makes it a little too out of reach. It's definitely a goal and something that I've always been, uh, that I've aspired to do. And yeah, I'm excited. What did you tell yourself and your teammates before every match? Before all of my matches, I definitely tell myself that you can only control your effort and your passion and everything else, you know. It's, it's up to the soccer gods. <laughs> and I tell my teammates that they're going to do great. What would you tell to every person that wants to be in your position playing the final representing your country? Very few people get the opportunity to represent their country at this level. So you got to give it all you have. And how does it feel to play alongside teammates that have won a World Cup? Uh, it's a huge honor to play with the players that are on this roster, top to bottom, it's it's just excellence and it's the best 23 players in the country. So I, I just feel really privileged and I'm excited to win a championship with them. Okay, thank you Mitch for your time. It has been a pleasure to meet you and to talk to you. Likewise, thank you so much. We